All right, everybody, welcome back to uh, the stream. I hope you guys have a good week, and I hope you guys are going to have a good weekend. So, I'm going to be trying my 40k playthrough of uh, Stellaris once again. Uh, the first time I tried it online, uh, it kind of failed. I uh, didn't realize that my wife had actually been playing. And there's nothing wrong with my wife playing, except for the fact that she turned off all enemies. So, yeah, when she turned off all the enemies, I really wasn't paying attention. So the last time you guys saw me play this, if you were here, or if you watch it on YouTube, yeah, it was really cool and all, and I was doing really well, but that's because there's nobody else there. So, yeah, we're going to restart that game, definitely. But what we're going to be doing... Uh, just like last time, is we're going to be redoing the 40k universe inside Stellaris. So what I've done is I've created a whole bunch of different races from Tyranids, the Empire of Mankind, the Tau, the Orcs, the Eldar, the Drakari, the Forces of Chaos, and the Necron, and I'm force spawning them inside the game. That doesn't mean other, other races can't spawn, Eternal Empires can't spawn, things of that nature, but they will. all seven of the enemy factions will be force spawned in the game. So I'm going to be playing as Tyranids, as a ravenous hive with a gestalt consciousness, devouring swarm, divided attention, hive-minded, rapid breeders, non-adaptive, fleeting, Elgartarian, and quick learners. So I'm going to be playing as the Tyranids, and I'm going to see about how many different races I can eat up. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, let's see, four spawning seven. Um, medium's fine. Eh, let's go a little larger. I like eight. I like 800 stars. There you go. There we go. Any of you guys are fans of the 40k universe? Be sure to hit me up telling me what your favorite faction is. What you like. Ah, stop it, young lady. My cat has decided that she wants to attack me. Alright. So... The great hunger has drove us forwards. Even before the mind was capable of processing complex thoughts, we hunted, we fed, and we grew. As prey began to grow scarce, the ravenous yearning for flesh forced us to adapt. We used tools and devised new technology. As we feasted, the surface of Tyran was nearly cleansed of biomass, but the mind eventually came to a horrifying conclusion. Tyran was finite. When we had consumed everything on this world, there would be nothing left to sustain us. Forced to adapt once again, the mind carefully nursed the remaining biomass while new tools were invented. The atom was eventually split and we developed spaceflight. With discovery of FTL drives, the mind howled with triumph. Other planets and the biomass were now finally within reach. Alrighty then. Honestly, I think that that kind of start, that like intro right there, might be how the Tyranids formed in you know their universe except instead of saying oh well we're just going to get smart and farm our biomass no they said screw it we're just going to go into outer space and eat everything so yeah what do i got anything good oh maniacal spark of genius and another maniacal oh that's a nice start um let's do an energy credit boost in the beginning no Let's do a standard research speed. Oh, uh, no. Actually, this one's really good. But population growth is better. And engineering. All right. The capital really can't do too much right now. So, first things first. Let's look at building a science ship. You... Oh, it's not too bad of a start. I like. I don't like being in the middle like this, but it's not bad either way. I I much prefer being out on the side or being towards the center. Um, I think I'll start moving towards the center first. Get these close ones surveyed. And you can not do anything. Alrighty then. So, yes. Let's see what we've got going on here. Standard. Um, I will be building my synaptic nodes once I get a chance. Not bad. 18. I'll take it. And... 
Construction is complete. Yep. Do I have enough to hire? Need two hundred. No, I need that. I will leave my anomalies be for now, just so I can get some research done. And where's that science ship? Here we go. Uh, research speed. Research speed. Eh, not great, so I'll just take the youngest. Intriguing. As our science ship scans the surface of Tier 5, it becomes quite clear that we have found something out of the, ex out of the ordinary. Its composition and his history provides it with extra materials that we should take opportunity to gather. We'll surely come across even more regulars like this as we survey new planets. Planet modifier appears. Um, and you can go and survey these two systems for now. Well, these three systems for now. Alright, that works for me. Ooh, and... Build some mining stations. Perfect. That works for me. Alrighty then. So, right now I'm just going to be exploring a little bit and trying to just judge where I am and hopefully nobody's too close. <coughs> mm, sorry. Yes, I got an anomaly. Uh... Oh, if you want to know how I go, like, you see how this shows up and it shows the anomalies and how much it has in there and how much potential? This is, I do by holding the alt button, just in case anybody's wondering. You're exploring, you're exploring. One construction ship will be fine for right now. I'll probably expand to uh, two and three, maybe even two and four, two construction ships for science ships soonish. We will see. It all depends on how things go. Oh, and now I can, now it's time to do this. So, perfect. Mining station's built. Synaptic nodes are being built. Synaptic nodes are really nice. I build them on almost every... Actually, I've built them on every planet that I own. Eh, that's not a bad system. Maybe with a little bit of luck, uh, my third science ship will have uh, um, anomaly research speed or something of that nature. So that I can go back behind and just research all the anomalies. Alrighty then. We can speed this up just a little bit. Get the beginning out of the way. Still rather new at this game, but there are points in time which you just want to expedite things. I like this choke point right here. I need to expand to this choke. I'm going to expand out this way first. Because expanding to that choke point will give me control of all this for very little effort. Perfect. And always do discovery first. Speaking of that, map the stars edict. Yes. Let's get some uh, extra anomalies running. Ooh, a planet. Eh, not huge, but I'll take it if it's good. Good. Oh, this one's got an anomaly research speed already. You may not be alone out there. Uh, who is this? Which one? Nope. Okay. So this guy is going to be my anomaly researcher. 
while my third one is going to replace him in the galactic researching due to the fact that he has anomaly research speed increase. Through hard work experience, Governor Autonomous Drone 71 has developed new skills. What new skills has he developed? Uh, ooh, research time decrease. We are losing credits at the yes, I always am losing credits this early in the game. I will research it because you do have that increased research speed. Hmm, this is starting to look pretty good. Leave it be for now. Alright, I think it's time for me to get another science ship. What we had previously thought was assorted mountains in the southern hemisphere of Elford 8 has been identified as the massive skeletal remains of a single colossal alien life form. The bones have been dated as 3.4 billion years old, but our scientists have ruled out that Alfred 8 could have supported life on that scale at any point in the planet's history. Since Officer Thomas Strong 38 has prepared a specific research product to delve further into the mystery. Perfect. And survey ship in sp speed increase. Exertomorph organics in navigating deep space. Extremophile? I don't know what that word means, but it's interesting. Fascinating. Alright, build me another science ship. Technology is conceived. Um, there are a couple of good options here. I kind of want the farming subsidies as early as possible. I just like the farming subsidies. And what else am I doing? I was going to buy a new... What do we got? Research speed for statecraft. Military, surveys, oh, this is beautiful. Wait for one or two ticks. Oh, I can sell some food. No big deal. Where is it? All right, there we go. Oh, yeah. And then research speed and survey speed increase. And from now, you are going to be my anomaly researcher. While you are going to be my surveyor because you are now faster perfect 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 in my opinion are you done yet no you're not you can build some mining stations to get that energy for me do I want to go I want to go this way <coughs> or do I Mm, let's go this way. Set up a queue for ya. Natural wormhole. We have detected what appears to be a naturally occurring subspace phenomenon on the edge of the Surio system. A rift in the very fabric of space-time is formed here, creating a wormhole that our science drones speculate may provide a conduit through subspace to another wormhole located somewhere else in our galaxy. Depending on where the second wormhole is located, this could potentially allow the ships to travel from one end of the galaxy to the other in a matter of days. Fortunately, this wormhole, like the vast majority of its kind, is inherently unstable. I wonder if it could be somehow stabilized. Perfect. You are investigating the anomalies because you are my anomaly researcher. Anomaly. Yeah. I feel like I'm saying it wrong every time I say it. Alright, mining station here. And then I'll take over this spot. Alright. 
I love getting an early anomaly, anomaly research speed. And I am going to need something from... I'm going to need jobs. Leave it be for now. Uh, first of all, get one food and two energy. Tier 3 is exceptionally rich in minerals. Minerals that are, unfortunately, of no use to us. However, Science Officer Autonomous Drone 38 believes that many elements in the crust of Tier 3 can be transformed into potentially more useful forms through positron bombardment. The ISS Seeker Vessel has requested that the Tier Net set aside 100... Yes! Yeah! Wait, no! No! I want to! Why can't... I don't have the choice of not doing that! But I want to! Hmm... Was it because I just didn't have the energy credits at the time? I would have totally have saved up for it if that was the case. Uh... Huh. Well, that was kind of sucky. Leave that be for now. Uh, research alternatives plus one. Yes. Well, that was kind of suck. I really would have not minded doing that. And perfect. All right, so what am I doing next? Yeah, I'll, I'll be getting, as soon as this is done, it'll, the job will catch up. And I definitely kind of I kind of want to turn this into an energy planet. But until then, it's got a decent amount of minerals. I'll leave the building slot open until I can research some new buildings. Pump up the speed just a little bit. Alright, I'm gonna need a new constructor ship. Perfect. Our construction is complete. How is that not fully surveyed? Could have sworn I set it on auto survey. We have surveyed the system. That is absolutely ridiculous. We flee hostile oh, hostile aliens here. Okay. I can live with that. We have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Fligeon system. These strange objects have been flagged as beta aliens until we could learn more. Alpha aliens. Uh, what are they? I don't know. I didn't get a good enough sight. Alien vessels, 560. Okay. I can live with that. And you can go survey. That works. Wonder why no, nobody ever. I wonder why this guy never finished surveying here. That's just weird. Okay. Oh wow, lots of hostile swarms over here. Okay, that's acceptable. There you go. Now that's been surveyed. And you can go here and build a star base. Oh, that's not too bad. I mean, it's small, but it's not bad. There you go. Our construction is complete. Perfect. Uh, 
Alrighty then, so we've got a we got some expansion going on. I really want to be using this building slot. The only problem is is that I want to build towards a more energy-based hive capital with some food backup. And this is going to be a detriment to that if I don't have the energy buildings yet. I could do the research labs. Yeah, I'll just do a research lab. Leave it be for now. Oh, good. Engineering research. You can research that because it's that. Planet build speed increase. Corvette. Corvette. Mining station output. Uh, let's go for some early Corvette hull hit points. And some edicts. I need those edicts. Because they will show up early and be useful and get me more. Ooh, farming subsidies. That's what I needed. Uh, not yet, though. A small aerostat colony was found floating just above the atmosphere of Borbo 5. It appears to have been self-sufficient and remains from several different species were found on board. As best as we can tell, the colony was just some kind of social experiment conducted centuries ago that untimely ended with colonists massacring each other. We have downloaded all the data found in the colony's limited databanks. Not bad. Intriguing. Perfect. Um. Yes. Yes. Construction ship, you are not working. That is bad. You are doing the same thing, construction ship. I do not like it. Perfect. New research. Fusion reactor. Oh, this is what I wanted for energy. Perfect. Oh, that sucks that I got all three of these at once. Energy grid. Routine. Uh, who's not doing anything? You. You are not doing anything. No, no. Wait. No. Stop it. The ISS Seeker Vessel 3 has recovered a elongated metal box from the surface of Borbo 6. Clusters of small perforations on five sides lead Science Officer Autonomous Drone 74 to believe it is not a container, but some sort of aerosol dispersal device. It's something that smells bad. Special projects have been issued to confirm. That is fine. Build a star base. At least there's no hostile aliens right here, because that would just be annoying. I'll bu be building up my ships pretty soon to uh, take out these, because they're smaller. Um, what do I have researching in society? Yeah, I'm going to wait till this is done before I start discovering the aliens. Perfect. Alrighty then. So, if anybody is interesting, uh, interested, I've been watching the Magic the Gathering uh, Pro Tour recently. And it's been really awesome. It's great to see Day9 and, uh, who is it, Kibler on the, at the desk together? That's ridiculous. Like, I don't know anybody who, old school Magic player like me, I've been playing forever. Great, more hostile swarms. I've been playing Magic forever. And uh, to me, Kibler is like one of those legendary guys. I don't know. Maybe if like in wrestling terms, he'd be The Rock. You know, if he were to ever come back, it would just be like, holy crap. And because he, he wasn't able to work for, I mean, play Magic for a while due to the fact that he had this non-compete clause with Upper Deck, if I remember. I don't know, it was something weird like that. But it was abs seeing him with magic again is absolutely amazing and I love it. And then you see people like Nasif and uh all the good pro streamers. Um what was that what was that one? That girl's name? MTG Pro Magic Girl or something like that? Oh man, she was amazing yesterday. And then I'm watching earlier today I was watching some of uh today's stream. Oh good. 
And let's get some society research. And I saw Nasif, of all people, just kicking butt. And I was absolutely in love with it. Nasif is one of my favorite players, and he's one of the best players ever. All right, so we have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on uh, Merlope Aya. Incredibly, this civilization, which is apparently referred to itself as Cybrex, seems to have been made up of machines that were linked together in some sort of collective consciousness. The age artifacts indicated that they were active some 600,000 years ago, in this portion of the galaxy at least, but we have learned nothing of their exact origins. According to a partial data fragment that our scientists managed to extract from one of the artifacts, the Cybrex at some point launched a crusade to destroy all sapient organic life from the galaxies for reasons unknown. Well, that's perfect. I can, I can learn about them because my crusade is to eat all sapient organics in the galaxy. On the shoulders, it appears that the asteroid on blah, 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 and the Strat of Prime Debris originated from a former planet. Deep in the center of the asteroid, we can find traces of extremely valuable alloys. There are also hints of bacterial life that is now dying in the vacuum of space. Alrighty then. Ooh. Yes, research. Uh, leave it be for now. What are you doing? You are not doing anything. And you are my researcher. So you research all anomalies in the system. Science vessel. Survey. Survey. Construction vessel. Build mining stations. And construction vessel. Where is the hostile swarm? Holy crap! The swarm moved! The space-born life forms, which are called Tanaki, are docile creatures capable of accessing some lower dimension subspace. Uh, they will not attack unless provoked. They can be safely ignored. Yeah, uh, I don't care. I want to kill them. Research. Um, fine. I need to build up my fleets. Oh, well, that's fine research. Okay, it's time for me to be doing my ship designer stuff anyways. No, I don't want to auto-engage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's start off with this and just do a whole bunch of mass drivers. And. Perfect. All right. And since we're going to be playing as the Tyranids, our smallest ship is going to be known as the Kraken. I always misspell that. Save that. And let's get some mass drivers going on with save. Yes. All right. Update that. I can use some of these alloys and just build up my uh, everything. Research the projects in the system. Perfect. Now our swarm needs to be expanded. The amusement park. The, enti the entities encountered by our fleet some time ago were new spaceborne life forms. A significant larger than a Tyranid Corvette. These space amoeba herds are minuscule next to our full corpus. I kind of want to study them for now and then I'll kill them. Sounds like a good plan. 
Uh, Kraken class. Didn't I fleet research it? Ship designer. Destroy. Delete. Perfect. Now. Our construction is complete. Our construction is complete. Astounding. Reinforce for now. Someone used a mining laser from orbit uh, approximately 5,000 years ago to carve the large body of writing into the surface of Semestria III. The massive script covers a large portion of the planet's upper hemisphere, and it's a short story encountering the difficult life of an alien mercenary. Okay. Sounds absolutely worthless. If I have to meet the mercenary, I will eat him. Uh, who's not doing everything? Everybody's not doing everything. That's not good. Build a mining station. Technology you are going to... Um, oh, ooh, technology. New research. Oh, good, the Corvette. Armor. Mm, armor. I'm about ready to go to war against these guys. I would like to have some advantages. You. Yes, you. I am lacking. Oh, yes, of course I'm lacking. You will be researching. You are the one with extra research speed. You aren't doing anything because you are stuck and you are researching. I want more population. I want to learn more. And I want to map the stars. Perfect. That is absolutely perfect. And you know what? Oh, that's so. Uh, I don't know if I want to do this. Not with two agriculture districts? That. <coughs> Sorry. That's not good. Ah. Uh, just two. I don't know if I want to colonize that world. And then there's this tiny one. Perfect. Which gives me an ascension perk. I don't need raiding because I'm just going to kill everything. Starbase, influence cost, research speed. That's always good. But I'm thinking one vision, first of all, just so that I can keep my amenities down. Because I bet you 10 bucks. Yep, I'm getting low on amenities. I am getting low on amenities. That'll do. Perfect. That's a good start right there. And... You can continue to reinforce a little bit. I have a clearable blocker available, but I'll leave that alone for now. That's you. That's you. As soon as I build up enough strength that I feel comfortable with my swarm, I'll start clearing out these alien vessels. At which point, I will then clear out these alien vessels. Wessels. That works for me. Alright then, so going back to where I was with the magic thing. I've been playing magic for a long, long, long time and I absolutely love it. I've been playing arena. I t tend to stick around the platinum range just because I feel like gold isn't good enough for me and I don't feel like farming up more. You know, just whatever. Love me some mid-range decks. I know they're not meta right now, but I love them. And it's just all around good times everywhere. So I love seeing these old school players 
that I used to look up to when I was a kid and just how they've grown into these people who are doing the thing and promoting the thing and turning into just the awesomeness that is what is modern magic. Energy grid. Perfect. Uh, research station. Improved deflectors. Blue laser. Do I want to upgrade the lasers or do I want to upgrade my... Uh, We'll lead to crushed cruiser. The shattered remains of a cruiser sized star sized starship can be detected in a decaying orbit deep inside the atmosphere of Unwerhan 6. It appears to have ventured far into the gas giant's atmosphere. Uh, vessel is too deep to be salvaged, but a structural scan of the wreckage provides us with some interesting engineering data. Awesome. You know what? Let's get some improved deflectors. I like that idea. Uh, you are going there. Ooh, that system has a gateway. Can I destroy it? Because I don't use gateways. Disabled gateway. Huh. Interesting. And let's reinforce a little bit more. And then this should push it well into the zone of just being able to wipe those out without taking too many casualties. All right, society research is complete. Energy siphon, not bad. I already have a little bit on there. Uh, hydroponics farm, food processing facilities. Hydroponics farm. And food processing facilities. So if I can build a food planet, I kind of want both of those. Mm, let's do food processing facility. Research the easy anomaly. All right, and as soon as these are done, let's assign a leader here. I don't have enough. As soon as I have some energy, I'll assign a leader here. You are dead in the water right now, so you can research the anomalies in system. Then go down here. All right. And... Perfect. The alien mural. While conducting surface scans of Midgar Aya, science officers 74 and the crew of the ISS Seeker Vessel 3 discovered what appears to be an artificially covered slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not detected any other signs of alien activity on the moon, and exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We have prepared a special project. Fascinating. Tyrion, what are you doing right now? Uh, building generator districts and agriculture districts. I like that answer. Thank you for surveying the system. Survey. 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 Um, okay, my construction vessels have been idle because I've just been completely focused on getting up some of these so I can free up my other science ship. Evasion and sublight speed, that's always good. Ship upkeep. Ship fire rate. Uh, I'm thinking... Either sublight speed or ship fire rate. Well, this is a little bit of both. Perfect. And 800. You go handle the enemies in this system. Um, let's see here. Let's research the space amoebas. And this will free up my third science ship. And that'll be great. Still got a couple of um, random anomalies and research projects that I need to do. Attempts to scan the object at high speed of orbit of whatever have been unsuccessful. The object quickly falls below the horizon, and the ISS Seeker Vessel's instrument has simply been able to keep up. While the AR's gravitational pull is strong, that alone does little to explain the object's extreme momentum. The object itself possesses some extraordinary properties, or there are some gravitational phenomena at work here. 
The object's velocity appears to be increasing over time, and the science officer suspects that it soon may be thrown out of orbit, even without outside influence. Um... I will try to slow it down. The drone successfully intercepted on the known object's orbit. By latching onto the object and then thrusting in reverse low by low, the drone was eventually able to direct it to the ISS seeker vessel for retrieval. And it looks like some sort of box constructed of alien material. Van like ridges, ridges meander along sides, congregating at the top for some type of sphere shaped mechanism. We can only guess at it. Uh -huh. Yeah, open it. Yeah, that's fine. I have no issue with that. Uh, what type of stuff we got here? Don't need that. My f science. Perfect. All right, you go research the anomaly. And I will be clearing out some of these hostile territories. How they got all the way over here is beyond me. Because that's just ridiculous. Like, I got to here. There's nothing wrong here. I completely surveyed it, and then they just came up. It happens. And now that I've actually got some resources... That I've no longer building up my fleet, I can start building again. I will leave that be for now and continue searching and let my one with increased anomaly research speed have at it. Do I need agriculture? Oh, I wouldn't mind the those districts huh okay they must have flown off uh, okay well it's about time you're free And move here. By the time you know what, I can sell some resources real quick. Our construction is complete. And there you go. Build the star base outpost. And build mining stations. And all these alien fleets are disappearing on me. Well, that works. Perfect. What type of ships we got? Oh, space amoebas. Are they flying away? The Trapokian Conservers. Yes, yes, we've heard it all before. We are the Trapokian Conservers, and you are the Tyranids. Greetings. Well met. So you have our space or face certain doom, and so on and so forth. Now, if you'll excuse us, we're quite busy. Okay. We will eat you. Alrighty then. Try and stop the machine. D 
Deep within the crevice of the giant asteroid, we have found something astonishing. There is mining gear attached to the rock, digging itself into the vast depth of the asteroid. It stands abandoned with no sign of who placed it there. If we can stop the machine, we might be able to learn something about the technology. Timed project. Research projects in the system. And build everything. Alright. Construction. Ship is researching. You are my anomalies. So you need to go... You can go here and research the anomalies in the system. Everybody is working, and you can go check to make sure that they have gone. We've managed to stop the excavator before it broke down. It's a remarkable piece of machinery, smooth surface covered in diamonds. First glance, the whole drill seems to be one solid piece, but it's simply so well put together you cannot notice. Nice. Geofernal fracking. Okay. Uh, you can now... Ooh, that is a nice system. Kind of liking that system. Technology conceived. Wait, no, no. No, no, no. You move here and you take over that because they are right here. And this is too good of a system to give up. Space amoeba are usually accompanied by a handful of semi-intelligent flagella used for defense and object manipula manipulation. The amoeba and flagella do not share a mind. The former instead use the RNA laced secretions to program the latter for the execution of tasks in middle and complexity. Uh, let's get some regenerative hull tissue. Yes! Um... All right. Ooh, coil gun. Yes, I like these. I like these options a lot. Nebula refineries are very good, but I want the coal gun upgrade. Get that floating space bug. Yes. Awesome. And now you're just going to go directly after... Perfect. Uh, science ship. Perfect. All right. This is a perfect time to get a break in, in the video. I appreciate everybody watching. I hope to see you guys on the next episode. I'll be posting these up over the next uh, week or two. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you.